Good day everyone and welcome to where mathematics is our business. That's all the time concepts. Binary number system. The powers of two approach. Let's deal with it. Binary versus general, otherwise known as base two versus base ten. This is the power of two table that is going to be required. The powers implies the number of times that two is multiplying by itself. And these are the equivalents here. So what are we going to use here to apply into our binary number system? Don't forget, 2 to the power of 0 worldwide is always going to be 1. So let's practice now. When you have a question that says 103 base 10 to binary to convert, you need your power of 2 table, but you need to consider the highest value that will give you 103 and you move from left to right considering the direction of the arrow so the highest number that will add up to give you 103 is 64 because the number that comes after it is 128 and that's too much so we'll consider 64 and we'll move to the right so we take 64 as our first number if we take 64 away from 103 you have 39 remaining so from your 39 you can take 32 you can take 4, you can take 2, and you can take 1. So, others that are not going to be taken, place 0 there. So, when you add up those places that we filled as 1, which is 64, 32, 4, 2, and 1, you will get 103. So, we ignore where we have the zeros, and our final answer becomes 1100. One, one, one. That's the binary equivalent for 103 base 10. 1100111. One, one, zero, zero, one, one, one. Now, in another situation where you are to convert 1111011 one, 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 zero, one, one, zero, base 2 to base 10, this is so easy. Just follow the direction of the arrow. You throw your direction from right to left. That is, you fill up your base 2 power of 2 table from the right direction to the left direction. We have 0 being the first, followed by 1, followed by 1, followed by 0, followed by 1, followed by 1, followed by 1, and lastly, the other 1. And when you consider that, the next thing to do is to fill up all the places where you have all the binaries that you fill up. And that's the equivalence, which is from here. So when you locate and compare with your power of 2 table, you know that this side is going to be 128, this side is 64, this side is 32, this side is 16, this side is 8, 4, 2, 1. So, what we need to do now is to consider this thing that has been written from right to left as our answer. So what do we do? We add up all those places that we have ones. We add up all those places that we have ones. And from there, we get our final results in the base 10 equivalent. So once the chart is filled up with 11110110 from the back as shown by the arrow. I hope you can remember the arrow. Good. So what do you do? Then add up the numbers with ones and ignore those of zeros. You will have 128 plus 64 plus 32 plus 16 plus 4 and plus 2 to give you 246. And that gives you the final answer for the equivalent binary to base 10. Hope you've learned something. Thank you.